When HarperCollins Publishing House released Harper Lee's Go Set a Watchman, the prequel of To Kill a Mockingbird, it was met with a lot of pushback from lovers of literature. In fact, the book was banned by several literary critics. The folks over at the Duxbury Free Library figured they ought to have a book discussion on this controversial piece of writing, so we stopped in and listened. Today we're having a book discussion about the new Harper Lee book, which is called Go Set a Watchman. It's the book on which To Kill a Mockingbird was based. So there's been a lot of controversy about the publication of the book, to, to be honest. Um, but we're not actually going to talk about that. That is just an issue to the side. And what we're focusing on today is really the literary questions of um, where is the story coming from? How does the new book relate to the old book? Um, uh, how, why did they change the uh, story so dramatically from the first book that she uh, published? Uh, and we have um, Mrs. Mary Ciccarelli and uh, Mrs. Corinne Woodworth coming in to talk about it, two wonderful Duxbury High School English teachers. It's really a first draft of To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, and the comparison's interesting. It's not at all the same book. Um, and I, I was kind of fascinated to read a little bit of the reviews that came out. Um, I think a lot of them got it wrong. They've been focusing on Atticus as a racist. I think that's really a, a bad reading, bad interpretation. Um, I think the voice of Scout's kind of gotten lost, but it's really interesting to see where she started and where her editor took her for the final copy. So I mean, it's, it's not as good a book. I don't think it would have stood the test of time. Um, I don't really like Scout in this book, whereas she's, she's adorable and lovable in, in To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, but what this book does is show an excellent lesson in revision and what happens when you take a story and say, OK, here's an OK story. What am I going to do with it? Um, if I were teaching it, I would teach it as a first draft, a revision, and a final draft. Yeah, after this discussion, I, I certainly hope people go back and, and think carefully about a book that was written back in the 50s that to many of us seems extremely relevant today. You know, and just how much progress have we made? You know, what progress and what hasn't been progress. Um, it's, it's a book to think about. It's a discussion I hope will, will really challenge us to see ourselves in American society and what is our role. Yeah.